Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk finally about the car behind me. It's a very nice build we could make, as you can see, with wheels and wings and uh, bonnet and interior and power and everything. It's just a very, very cool car. We could do a lot of stuff with it. We are going on the dyno today is Friday. We are going on the dyno in three days, next Tuesday. And then we're gonna map the car and hopefully see some power increases. Uh, the goal is roughly 350 horsepower. We're gonna see how much we can, we can make. Um, just a quick uh, overview what the car got. It got uh, Wagner intercooler, our oil cooler kit. It got cams and springs from Calford, the Koshi hood, the empty carbon rear wing. Uh, wheels were already on the car and we added an Ölins suspension. So it's a little bit lower, it sits not too low, but I think it looks or it's just the perfect height right now it looks absolutely gorgeous it has um, an exhaust I think it's the one from HJS yeah that's HJS and also um, HJS downpipe so in the interior it's the CAE shifter the can check display mirror riser and the seats are lowered so and uh, rear wing I already said that yeah so that I think that's what we've done to the car it's here for now a couple of weeks because uh, the parts weren't all available oh yeah I forgot the also from Koshi the carbon thing is for the mirrors they're just uh, bond on or yeah bonded to the way uh, to the mirror so but they fit quite nicely it's not perfect or the carbon fiber isn't perfect but it's very good and uh, also for the price it's absolutely fine it's quite a, a big project and the car has 11 or 1200 kilometers so not that old uh, yeah and we changed all the oils and uh, everything just to make sure it's perfectly happy with the 340 350 maybe 360 360 horsepower uh, we're gonna get so yeah so now I'm gonna show you some pictures some footage of all the details of the car and then we're gonna see each other on the dyno So we are at JB Dino once again and we're gonna map first the GR right behind me it's the red one with it should get roughly around 350 horsepower I'm very interested how, or very curious how much power it will make now in stock ish form without any mapping so let's see how that goes and then we're gonna may, uh, map the Cupra, that will be in another video. But in this video you're gonna see me for the first time with, I don't know which video you've seen first, but this video is the first GR with video with me and some glasses. So, I'm getting old. No, I have glasses since first grade, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, Seven Mod is doing the first run now, and uh, we're here also with uh, HPP. Mm -hmm. 
it sounds it's not that loud it's the hjs downpipe the hjs exhaust actually as well and also wait let me get a little bit further away from here so and also the uh, opf or gpf delete kit we use the sports cat instead of the opf gpf in english okay yeah um which obviously isn't straight legal but the client wants it like this and so we're gonna deliver what he wants and now let's see how much power it made at the first run with uh, the camshafts uh, Wagner intercooler exhaust and everything without the tune so let me show you how many horses we do have I don't know if you can see the graph very well but I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you the the graph in a separate picture but um, it has 311.6 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque so that's basically exactly what we get with a uh, stage one uh, on a stock car so it generates the same power on a uh, with just the hardware modifications without a tune and the graph looks very very nicely but that's not too bad so let's see what we can do with a little bit tuning from el maestro <laughs> so let me show you i'm gonna show it to you like this as you can see the graph is very very nicely it's very smooth you can see some rough edges here but overall a very very nice graph and as a 311.6 and 430 newton meters of torque. so that's not too bad for just some hardware modifications It has 358 horsepower and 482 newton meters so that's pretty good the intake the stock one is limiting us a little bit but other than that it's perfectly fine one second so but other than that the car yeah. runs yeah let's get out of here so but but other than that the car runs perfectly fine um, intake would gain maybe another 10 15 20 horsepower but other than that it's pretty good the car runs absolutely smoothly I'm gonna show you the dyno sheet uh, just in a couple of seconds or after that and then you can see the difference from stock to the map but that's uh, basically the best you can get with a stock intake so I'm pretty happy and I hope the clients also pretty happy and yeah if you have any questions uh, about the car about any parts about anything let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them as good as possible so he's getting ready to drive back home and now we are putting on this here so that's it for this video thanks for watching have a good week see you next time goodbye